Well, hello everyone, Dan Herbert, Dan Herbert Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. I am back here on my Paxson Valley Agate Claim. Last time I was here, I said I would not do another video unless I found a big agate nodule for you to see. So what I did today is I got a couple friends here who are gonna help me dig, and we are gonna dig until we find one of those massive agates. We've had some come out of here the size of watermelon. If I get a grapefruit today, I'll be happy. So wish us luck and I hope you enjoy. Now, if you are familiar with my channel, you will know Bryson. Bryson's Hello. here helping out again. And Sarah has made the odd occurrence on, the, on some of my videos as well. They've come up because they love agate hunting. And this is a great spot to find some green skin agates. And as I said, some of them are big. Sarah's very competitive, so. Not that competitive. <laughs> now, last time I was here, I dug in that pit up there and I dug a little bit down here and I got lots of mid-sized stuff. A buddy of mine told me that this pit here has produced some doozies. So it's a little bit tough today because it's full of water, but I think I can work around that and see if I can get one of those honkers. Okay, so I just washed down the hill here a bit. This is all bedrock. Dug off the overburden and just washing it down, you can see the little agates. They're pretty much everywhere. We get little ones all over the place here. Uh, there's one right there. We won't collect all of these we can today. These go into my agate bags. I do sell agates from this site, but I'm looking for the big guy. I'm looking for, when I wash things off, a big knob to come out and show itself. If I see the big knob, then I know to dig around that area and get the big agate. I found the big knob! Oh, there he is. And today I will be using my Honda 2000 generator with the Milwaukee uh, rotary hammer. People don't like me calling it a jackhammer. It's technical term is a rotary hammer. I will be using that to do some of the digging in the hard rock because you know, I have to really worry about my chest still. I have to be careful with it and swinging a big hammer all day long is definitely hard on my chest. If you don't know, I had heart surgery a year ago. And here in BC, the rules state for hand mining, you don't need a permit to use hand tools and small power tools with a generator you can move by hand and tools that you can move by hand are allowed within the rules for hand mining. And Sarah's found the biggest one of the day so far. So far, yeah. it's absolutely beautiful. We've only been here like five minutes. Let's hope for a bigger one. <laughs> I'm looking for great big hollows when I pull these pieces off. Hopefully the socket of a big one that's still left behind there. There's lots of little ones in here, but no big one yet. Egg it. Ooh, slightly bigger egg it. Now it's not a watermelon yet, but I do see the surface of a bigger one right there. Just a little bit of a round. The rock that is not agate always comes out jagged and sharp. Agates always have, well, in this situation, agates have these rounded surfaces, and there's a nice big round right there. Let's see what it comes out as. Okay, not big, not huge. We'll still find it. I was reaching down to grab this one when I realized, ooh, there's a bigger one right there. Okay, let's get the camera on this one just in case it is a bigger one.
it's not. So I just was digging this down here, pulled it out, and on the back side, I see a socket of, you know, it's not huge, it's a mid-sized one, but uh, there's obviously just down below the water here, a good size agate. Now, if you're wondering why these agates are all sort of round and shaped like this, this material here is a uh, old cooled lava. The lava was full of air bubbles, like lava is the air bubbles, is what filled in with agate, filled in with a gemstone agate. And that's what we're finding is these agates that are just fillings of bubbles in lava. And there's the one that would made that uh, socket on the other side of that rock. It's one of the bigger ones I found so far today, but we're still looking for bigger. I just got that out of the bottom of the hole. I was just digging in. Obviously, I drove the chisel right through a nice one. Beautiful piece of agate. And the other half of that one. But you know, digging down into water is not working for me. I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna have to move around, change my spots a bit, and see if I can maybe dig up in the dry. Because even though there might be a really good one under there, I'd have to, you know, dewater this hole. A couple days ago, this pit was completely dry. But yeah, it rained hard last night. A good knob right here, but unfortunately it's underwater. I can't quite tell how big it is. loose must be a long skinny one there we go oh yeah there's the best one of the day so far nice. that would make some really nice pendants cut that go with the uh the fortifications and a lot of these show iris patterns inside there's a nice one and typically at this site the agates are shaped like this big and bulby on one end and then they have this tail that goes off the other and they're called amagoidal amagoidal uh maybe i'll put that in the screen here amagoidal agates basically means almond shaped, almond shaped agates. And that's because the bubbles in the lava, the lava was still flowing somewhat and the bubbles got sort of elongated and squished when they were just air pockets. And then they filled in afterwards with agate. And another good one. Well, I found a silver dollar, a silver dollar of agate. Nice round thing, round disc, about the size of a silver dollar. Maybe a bit bigger. American, American. Another good one is showing his head right there. Oh, that's the biggest one so far. Its foot broke off. We're not watermelon size yet. We're not grapefruit size yet, but that would make a good apricot. apricot. <laughs> a little bit of druzy inside this one. This would be known as a geode because it's hollow and druzy is those little tiny quartz crystals. Now this might be what I'm talking about. I don't know what it is, I just got a glimpse, a very small glimpse of it. There might be something right there. Time to start digging around that and seeing if it is something big or if it's just some of the basalt fooling me. There it is. Broke on the backside, way in there, but there is your grapefruit size agate. And it was a geode. It's hollow in the center with what I see is a little bit of druzy in there. Whoop, there it is. Turn off the generator for a few moments so I can admire this honker of an agate. Oh, and enjoy the peace and quiet for a little bit too. Nice. Better call Bryce and Sarah over so they can see this. Hey guys, got something to show ya. Did you get, uh, is it bigger than an apricot? Yes, much bigger than an apricot. Bigger than an apple. Bigger than a peach. 
Is it, uh, but not a watermelon? I've seen watermelons that size. Kind of cool with that little hollow in the center. Anything that's hollow is technically a geode. So this is a geode. This is a, a, an agate geode. I tried to wash it off in the mud puddle a bit, but you know, that's pretty muddy water. Definitely has some banding, some big banding. Definitely has druzy in the middle. Definitely big, it's definitely heavy. I'm definitely happy. So the size makes it rare. Right. Yeah, you know, we, we pull the, this size out of here fairly frequently. We go all the way up to watermelon size here. So frequently? You know, oh no, this size, we probably pull 20 or 30 of these out of here in a year. Not myself, the club. It's still a lot more rare than the thousands of little ones. Oh yeah. And you can see where it came out of the rock. That piece is still stuck in there. I'll just take the chisel behind that and pop it out. Okay, I pulled out the other part of that. Oh, that was the toe. The toe went way back in there. Even the toe was big. Broke one with a chisel here, but I think that might be one on top of it. And it's slightly loose. Let me see if I can get that out. It was nice druzy inside it. It wasn't well formed, but kind of neat all the same. Well, I got into a little group of them down here. There's one, two, three, and they intrigue me because of how solid they are. Can't move them. This one I obviously hit with a chisel. That's what the white powder is. That's powdered agate. Went right through it with a chisel, but it's still very, very solid. That one's not budging. This one's not budging. Sometimes they do attach to each other in behind, or maybe they're just big enough that they're not loose yet. Well, let's see. I was too aggressive and I broke it. That's the bottom one. This, the one over here didn't seem to be much. This I broke. I went underneath it, but it, sh it shattered. And this one's still solid up top here. So there's still some nice agate. Still some nice agate. Well, we got the three out. That's a nice looking one. I can actually see, oh, let's look at, I can see not only the banding going on in there, that if I cut a thin slice out of this, I might see an iris pattern. That's that sort of rainbow pattern you get when you pass light through it here. I can see the thin, thin bands, and I have a feeling that would show me that nice iris pattern. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah, then I found a spot where there was some seam down there, so you might have heard me chiseling. Yep, yep. I was working in this pet pit last year and actually found some pretty nice stuff in there. Yeah. Super cool stuff. Yeah. Well, it's nice to go through nice, the piles. Um, whole, like, um, nodules. Well, last time I was here, last video, which was, you know, six, eight months ago, I said I wouldn't do another video from this site unless I could find a nice big one to show you. And I found that big one. And now, I'm out for number two. Let's see if we find two big ones. The next one, watermelon. It's too bad there's water in the bottom because I'd like to go down more, but it's a bit of a pain right now to go down. So I've got the back wall I'm working on. Bryson said he was going to come over and shovel off some of the overburden so I can get into that little lump right there. So I may have found another bigger one by driving the chisel straight into it. See this white powder here? You know you've gone into an agate when you see white powder coming out. And now I see on top what might be a nice big one, but I hit it. That's not good. And it is another nice one. I hit the bottom, but look at that. It's coming out as another grapefruit by the looks of it. That's agate down there as well. And I just hit that hard. I hit another big chunk of agate right there. I doubt they're the same one. It's big, way down over here. So I've been going a while now on this and it is a big knob on top, but there's also another big knob down here. They don't quite look like they're attached, but sometimes you get the snowman effect where you get one bubble that touched another and they connect up. So it could be one massive one, but I don't think it is. I think it's two big ones, one, two. I'm being very careful to go around it as much as I can, not get too close to it. Cause if they are attached, I'd love them to stay together. Here we go. Okay, when I hit this one originally, I definitely broke it. It shattered, and as I was just digging around it, the top edge came free. Let's see what we've got. 
pure, pure agate. Just pure gray wagget. Wagget? Wagget. Pure gray wagget. The whole thing, it still might be attached to that. I don't know. It kind of goes up. I think it is. I think it is. Let's keep digging. Okay, she is free. I got in behind it. And I know they're separate. I saw them move separate from each other. So let's get... Hmm? They're broken from each other. Oh, yeah. There's another big, big grapefruit size. Even bigger than grapefruit size. Put that up there with the rest of the fragments. And let's see, this guy's free too. Not quite as big, especially since I broke it. Oh, it's broken again. That one, you know, lived a hard life. I was rough on that one. Hey, Sarah, come check this out. What do you got? We got the big one out. No way. Right there? Wow. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's the biggest one I've seen ever. Wow. And it's nice and solid too. That's amazing. Yeah, no fractures. That'll cut up nicely. Is this the biggest one from here? No. This one's no. about the same size oh, actually. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, okay. we, we found them 10 times that size here. Yeah, that's awesome. And it, it has that uh, that almond shape you're talking about actually. Yep. It does. It does. And uh, I'll take that home and cut it and cut a slab out of there and see if we can get the iris effect going on. It might even be hollow inside. Could yep. be a geode. We won't know until we cut it. There's a little baby Very one. Cool. Little baby growing off it. it. I love it. That's I'll awesome. I'll leave that for you. <laughs> ah, that's amazing. It's got a little conjoined twin. You cleared off a bunch of spots for us. Uh, uh, yeah, a bunch it's, of it's a bit deep. Um, so this is this is clear, but we could switch spots and. Uh, yeah, well, I'll dig that out and see if there's anything hiding over there. I'll just clear this for you. Good size one. Broken. Looks like the chisel went through it. Ah, I lick rocks. Eh, not bad. We're getting a bucket full. We'll probably have about a bucket full with all the other what, small ones. There's where the chisel went through that one. Ooh. And the, yeah, oops. the rest of it's down there. Do we got another one coming out back oh, here too. Okay. Up yeah, excellent. Maybe right here. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. right here, and we'll knock off that little knob. And I would say right in about there, and you're probably gonna free this thing up. You got her. I'll pull it out. Yeah. You did all the hard work. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. That's nice. Awesome. How's that? Wow. Sure Absolutely amazing. And that's huge. That's yours. Oh man. Wow. That's I don't yours. even know what to do with this. <laughs> oh man. We'll make we're gonna make some nice cuts at home. Yep. Oh man. Thank you, Dan. That's wicked. You're welcome. Cool. And it looks like there's another one for us to get right there. It sounds like it's all you because that was hard work. <laughs> okay, the second one that uh, was exposed when Sarah's getting hers right here might be our watermelon. It is huge. That's I funny. don't know if this is all agate though, but I see, you know, we shattered something over there. We shattered something there. Oh. That looks like it. I think this is our, this is our watermelon. Here we go, we got it free. And 
It totally is. Oh my lord. <laughs> Good one, Dan. There it is. There's the watermelon size <laughs> egg of the day. <laughs> oh, that's big. Now that's what I promised you. A watermelon size agate. <sighs> this is really heavy. I don't know if it'll fit in my saw. And there's the socket it was sitting in. What do you think? That's, I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty exciting. And Sarah? That's the biggest agate I've ever seen. I can't wait to see it cut. I don't know if I can cut it. It's uh, too big for my saw. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, for, ah, there it goes, oh. back in the hole. I'll find someone that can cut that for me. What you thought, Sarah? I, I don't even know what to think about it. <laughs> wow, just wow. Because yeah, Sarah's found a lot of pretty big agates. I like this size, maybe okay, watermelon. Bryson, size. pick that up and make, make your best get a guess of uh, weight on that. Okay. Oh no. I, I'm not. I'm no good with weight on big things. Twenty-five pounds. Twenty-five pounds. Yeah. Cool. A twenty-five pound agate. Twenty to twenty-five pounds. Yeah, because mine was about ten pounds. <laughs> wow, Dan. Now there's a chance that is the biggest agate I've seen come out of here. I have seen others that size. I can't remember off the top of my head if they were that big or not though. Rob, if you're watching, I think the biggest one I saw come out of here was from you. You tell me, is that compared to your biggest one? I don't know. Okay, we have the two bigger agates. Not the colossal one, but the two bigger ones in the two saws here. And we're gonna cut them in half and maybe a slab out of each. And now for a slab. Well, there it is, fresh off the saw. No void in the center, just one Solid, solid piece of egg. Great fortification going on. Got some calcite inclusions, which we can actually dissolve out, make it some neat pockets. That is a honker of an egg. Well, there we go. Two amazing halves, two amazing slabs, one frickin' amazing egg nodule. <laughs> Now here are the bigger pieces cut up, showing the Paxton Valley agate. That one was a little bit broken up inside, so it came out in pieces, but beautiful stuff. And then there was the huge, huge nodule. Great slabs, great halves, beautiful chunks. Now too many people are getting mad at me for not offering up some of my materials from these videos. So some of these chunks will be in my auctions on my website, www.danherdprospecting.com. Well, everyone, we had a blast here digging agates. I found a lot of great agates, and then that one, that unbelievably huge thing. I really hope you enjoyed watching our adventures here. If you did, please leave us that thumbs up. If I haven't earned your subscription already, I hope I've earned your subscription now. And a big thanks to everyone for watching, especially my patrons. Because of the support of my patrons, I get to make these weekly episodes of Dan Herd Prospecting. Hope you're all having an amazing day. And until the next one, bye. Bye. Woo.